Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is the final, yes, the last promo Friday of the year 2021 because it is New Year's Eve day and Headliners is here inside of FIBA 22 Ultimate Team. I'm gonna take a look at this promo today, what we think we're gonna be seeing from cards and packs, SBCs, objectives, and especially how the market is gonna to react to this promo today. We've been kind of getting ready for it this last couple of days on the YouTube channel, looking at a lot of things, how we think the market could move. Um, and I, I think, really, I don't see anything that makes today look like a really crazy promo day. So we're gonna talk about how that's gonna impact the market because whether you're trying to not lose coins on your team or whether you're trying to make coins today, there's gonna be plenty of opportunities, I think, to play in this market and watch these cards move, whether it's the new headliners, whether it's out of pack special cards, or stuff like that. So without further ado, let's get into things. If you enjoy the videos on the channel, of course, leave a thumbs up. That is greatly appreciated. And of course, subscribe if you're new. But let's get into a little information about cards coming into this game today. Headliners team number one. There's a slight change from what we saw before. So before we saw Serge Nabry, who has a really solid looking card. We're going to look at the cards here in a second. Uh, Serge Nabry was supposed to be a part of the original release, but according to some changes we see here, the leak is, now again, these are leaks, we take them with a grain of salt, they're usually pretty spot on, but Mbappe, Van Dyke, Koulibaly, Nkunku, Acuna, Carrasco, Luis Diaz, Simeone, Reese James, Candreva, and Schick are supposedly the 11 players that will be released in packs today on Friday. Then a mini release on the weekend will be Serge Gnabry, Ramsdale, Sangare, and Savernier. So originally Serge Gnabry was going to be one of those that might actually come out into the game on uh, Friday is what we were expecting today. But that is, it does not look like it is going to be the case right now. So these are the expected 11 cards that we will see in the game today on FIFA. Of course, Mbappe, big name there, Van Dyke, and Kunku Acuna. Looking at some of these cards, a lot of stats have been leaked as well. Of course, Nabry of here will be worried about him more on the weekend, but Reese James looks pretty solid. Koulibaly looks pretty, pretty like literally looks like a wall in defense, right? A lot of people like this player of the month from earlier on in the year. And Kunku looks nice. Acuna with a huge upgrade. I think this Acuna card today is going to be one of the most hyped up items from this brand new promo team. Everybody's going to be all over that card. Then we also had a couple new statistics kind of leaked today was Carrasco and Luis Diaz, which if I'm looking at both of these cards, they look good, but they don't look that insane. And I think that is going to be how this promo is received today on FIFA 22. I think people are going to say, hey, this promo, it looks good, right? There's some cool cards, you know, but it's only 11 cards in packs, whereas we are leaving 18 winter wildcard items are going out of packs today. So there's less cards that are coming into packs. The upgrades are decent. Yes, they're live cards. They will upgrade if a player gets a team of the week or a man of the match item. This headliner will stay like one upgrade above their highest performance-based special card, right? That's the whole point of this promotion, as we talked about earlier in the week. And we'll have to see if they change anything with the streak, right? Because there's a headliners and a headliner streak card design. Really, it comes down to today how hype and how many upgrades are these cards or how easy is it going to be to attain the streak. And the loading screen that we had yesterday, after they finally dropped the loading screen on Thursday, kind of delaying that. I don't know if they're going to update this at all today on Friday. They've done that in the past a couple times, uh, but they're not explaining at all if there's any changes to how the streaks work. So hopefully there is. Uh, but if there's not, and this, this headliners promo is like the exact same as last year, I really think you're just going to see a lot of prices on this game um, not be affected. I don't really think you're going to see a lot of panic selling on most of the out-of-pack special market today because when the content drops, the cards that are in packs, at least from that angle, it doesn't look that insane, right? It doesn't look that insane. The cards look decent and there's some good cards. And I understand if some of you guys are really hyped to go out and get some of those and try them out today, totally understand that. But for the rest of the market today, what it's really going to come down to is the SBC content. I don't know if we have a leak for what uh, headliners objective player would be involved in the in the promo um, today. Last year on this date of headliners team one, they dropped the flashback Robin SBC. There's a couple other SBCs that are still rumored that we have not seen, like the Edward record breaker. 
Um, that is Odson Edward from Crystal Palace. We still have a showdown that is expected to come out soon between Kieta and Georgi. Um, I think it's Jorginho. No, Kovacic. Kovacic and Kieta for the Liverpool Chelsea game coming up later this weekend. Um, so there's a couple SBCs that we have not seen yet. That could be a part of the content today. We also could see a actual headliners player as the SBC. And again, if you think back to like flashback Benzema during Black Friday or um, a couple weeks ago, they dropped a the Zaha winter wildcard, right? That was an insane SBC on the promo Friday. And a lot of the market really reacted because everybody went and did that SBC. I think today, if EA Sports puts out an insane SBC, then you're going to see a lot of the market react to that because a lot of people right now have SBC fodder. And I think that if EA puts something out today that is something that is meta, a good looking card and a good price, they could really get a lot of people to do that SBC. So we will see what they do SBC wise today. But that's like, I guess my biggest worries today and the biggest things that could impact this market would be what SBCs EA drop and what packs they put in the store. Now, I'm not trying to instill fear. I am not trying to get people scared, but I'm just I'm just stating the facts. We have not had preview packs in a long time. And the last time we had preview packs, it was about two to three weeks out from Black Friday. And right now we are two to three weeks out from team of the year and the market is feeling very stagnant. And remember last time when they did that whole crazy week of preview packs, the market was really stagnant right before that. So I'm just wondering if in the next week or two, they're gonna be dropping some preview packs to kind of devalue this market again before team of the year after this market has done very well and it's you know risen nicely in the past couple of days, especially out of winter wild cards. You've seen a lot of prices rebound back up um, from where they were. Even though prices have kind of gone down, we're in kind of like an upswing period. So usually these upswings don't last for forever and EA does something to bring it back down. I don't really think that I'm worried about preview packs on a Friday. Um, you know, the last time they dropped preview packs, it was on a Sunday. So I would more expect to see those like later on this weekend if they were going to do one. But I just think those kind of put that in the back of your mind because I think a preview pack, obviously, if they were to drop a preview pack, that would change the market a lot because it would supply the brand new headliners a ton. And I think that would just cause some mass panic, right? You have a lot of people right now that have invested. A lot of people have invested in these winter wild cards from team two because they're expecting them to rise because yes, the content right now uh, or expected content for today on Friday in FIFA is not that insane. A lot of people have bought up these cards because they expect them to rise out of packs. It's gonna really depend on a card by card basis. I mean, Ganduzi is up 10,000 coins. Zlatan is down 300K. Zlatan is three mil. He was 3.3 literally uh, yesterday. Take a look at this, 3.38. He's just been dropping all day yesterday. He's now down to 3 million coins on the market. Sterling is like the same price. Alessandrini is up 10,000 coins. Morales is up about 10,000 coins. Um, Delane is 72K. So if there's big content today on Friday, these cards are still very meta, very popular. I think that if there's a lot of, if there's a crazy SBC today or if there's preview packs and you see a lot of prices dropping, especially on these cards as they go out of packs, these are still very fresh, very new, and very exciting cards that a lot of people want to use. So I would keep an eye on that today. Now, with this being said, we're talking about potential like market movements for today. I really think that what's going to happen today on the market is going to be a picture perfect um, simulation of how it was about a month ago at the beginning of December when they dropped the versus fire, right? They dropped these cards. We thought they were all going to have five star weak foot or five star skills, and they did not. Everybody was disappointed with the promo. And what happened on this Friday when these cards were released, the whole rest of the market, like there were team of the group stages that were getting panic sold right before the content drop. And these cards absolutely exploded, right? They got low Friday morning heading into the promo and then they exploded after that because people are like, okay, these new cards are not that cool. It's not that hype. There's not a big SBC. So we're just gonna go back and buy the cards that we had before in our teams. And that caused a lot of other items on the market to go up in price. I really think that is gonna be how the market is today. So if you're looking to make coins today, if you're just purely looking to make coins today on the FIFA Ultimate Team market, what I would do is look at out-of-packs special cards from any of these Team of the Weeks, 
look on the popular players page here on Flippin. If you don't know how to find this, you go up here, Flippin.com, you go on the players page, drop down, and you hit popular. And these are going to show you the most popular cards that are searched on this website. And this is going to enable you to see a lot of players that people are using right now, right? Bamba, links to Awar, and links to Delane. Very popular items that are being used in this game. And you're going to want to look for out-of-packs promo cards, right? Like this Fred or Dan Juma or the Vinicius Jr. Informs, the Coleman Inform. Gravenberch is 50,000 coins. He is up like 15K from where he was. Um, Militao, I mean, let me talk about this for a second. Potential La Liga Player of the Month SBC. There's no leaks around it yet that are like official. Um, only the Militao's girlfriend's Instagram story uh, supposedly saying that he won Player of the Month. We don't know if that was La Liga Player of the Month or Real Madrid's Player of the Month. So there's a bit of speculation there. But keep an eye on this Militao because he's going to be fluctuating in price as people are still expecting that SBC. Um, but this Jesus card fluctuates a ton in price. Tuan Zebe moves a lot. We're getting a Reese James today. That's a green link to Reese James. So what I honestly think is that if you pick a few cards to watch today on this market, like Luis Suarez is 349,000 coins. That is up. That is up in price. Look where he was earlier this week. He was 300,000 coins flat before rising up. He was even 319 yesterday before hitting highs of 350, kind of where he is now. If this card's 300,000 coins again today on Friday, like in the morning, if there's any sort of market drop or panic selling, um, what I would do is watch those cards very carefully. And as we get close to the 6 p.m. time frame, I'm just using Luis Suarez as, as an example here. Again, this is not like a card that I'm gonna be looking at. It's just something to kind of keep on your radar. If this card is back down to like 300,000 coins right around the content drop and the content today for headliners is not that great, then I do think you would see cards like this rebound back up. Again, you're going to want to look for mo the most meta, the most rare, and the most popular cards that you can find on this game. Like these versus fire cards are pretty rare. I would keep an eye on these. Um, signature signings are pretty rare. I would keep an eye on those icons are going to be a great set of cards to watch today too uh they're going to be very interesting a lot of the primes i'm expecting some panic selling on the primes because at the moment i'm trading with some icons and i've had some good sales um but like i sold petita 870 wow this guy's stupid rare at the moment that's actually crazy um there's a lot of people that have been trying to trade with these prime icons you can see like this roberto carlos has two owners no games played this is a trader right here that's trying to flip this roberto carlos at 1.38 million coins overnight. Um, I think there's going to be some panic selling on the icons today. Wow, 600k flat for Rivaldo. Are you serious? Wow, that's really low. That is really low for his card. That's kind of crazy. Um, I think you're going to see some panic on those today because people are expecting pack supply, right? That's what everybody expects on a promo Friday is lightning rounds. And I think there are going to be lightning rounds. I think EA is going to run the 50k, the 100k, the 125s. Then they're going to keep going with their like 85 plus star packs. They do those all the time now, 86 plus star packs. I think you're gonna see all of the lightning rounds per normal, per usual, like it's a regular promo Friday. And that's gonna impact icons a lot. It's also gonna cause people to panic sell these because they're gonna expect them to get packed and they're gonna expect their prices to drop. So keep an eye out on the icon market today. That's gonna to be a very interesting place to be um, from new icons that get packed and supplied on the market. And also, um, people that are, again, panic selling some icons because they think their prices are going to drop. So here again, the best advice I can give you today is watch cards that are low in price as we get towards 6 p.m. UK today on this game. If you know some cards or you see some cards that are low, don't hesitate if you see that it's a not very good content day. There's no big SBC. The card pack weight's really low. That's one thing to kind of mention as well. If the pack weight on these cards is not good, that would, you know... Some people that maybe have, you know, want to spend FIFA points, they may not spend FIFA points because it doesn't look very good or whatever. So just kind of take all that into account. And if you're not excited looking at the content today on this game, then a lot of other people aren't going to be excited as well. And I think that's going to cause if there's any drop on the market today in the morning, those cards to rebound back or just to go higher in price in general, as people aren't going and using new cards, they're just going and buying already existing, existing items on the game and then watching them go up in price. Now, one thing I will say about the pack supply today is I would 100% expect your gold cards that are in the game, like let's say Gold Messi, right? Gold Messi's 300,000 coins. He was like in the 280s, 290s earlier this past week. 
I would expect gold Messi today. You know, from the cards that we have, there's not really like a League One right back. Like, you know, we have Mbappe. It's in the team today, but. You know, Mbappe is going to be extremely, extremely expensive. And, you know, I don't think Gold Messi is going to rise based off of, of a new Mbappe coming into the game today. Um, so, you know, a card like this that is in packs obviously is going to get hit with lightning rounds. Messi might be 275,000 coins. You know, Conte is probably going to drop off some in price. Ronaldo is going to drop off some in price. Marquinhos is going to drop off some with the pack supply today. So of course, you know, some of your heroes as well, maybe a Di Natale or a Ginola or an Abedi Pele. I, I do think that you would see a few of these guys dip and go down um, in price because I mean, look at this. This is just how it goes all year long. Like this guy gets low on the weekends, goes up a little bit during the week. Ginola was 1.1 last week. Now he's one point to mids, right? Ginola might be under 1.2 mil again today just because of people knowing he's going to get packed, even though he's a very meta card, very usable. People are going to know he's going to get packed and he's going to get supplied. So that's kind of how I think the market is going to react today. Now, if there is an S if there's an insane SBC or if they do preview packs on some crazy EA goes wild day today on Friday, then you might see a lot of panic. But there's really no reason for people to panic right now. They're just going out, playing their weekendly games, using winter wildcard items, um, and trying to finish off their winter wildcard swaps tokens and get all those tokens as fast as they can um, to maybe uh, you know finish that up and open those packs. Now, I, I have two tokens left to get, and I'm going to open them before these winter wild cards go out of packs because I would rather pack one of these or at least have a chance at packing one of these than packing a brand new uh, headliners card from today's team. That's just how it feels to me. Now, objectives, we do have the Trippier objective. He's going away today. I think they're going to add in a headliners objective. I'd be surprised if they didn't add a player in. We don't know. We don't have a leak or anything like that. But objectives this year have not been as good as last year. I, I think a lot of you guys would agree. Last year, objective players, we had uh, Mateus Cunha, headliner, day one of the promo last year. And I don't know, objectives this year for the players that are actually in redeemable and obtainable from objectives just have not seemed as good. So I don't know what that is with EA this year. They're kind of downplaying that a little bit, but that's kind of something to just keep in mind. And again, I mentioned the icons. I really feel like some of your prime icons are going to have a bit of a reset in price today. And we're really going to have to keep an eye on some of these because they're going to drop from panic selling and um, from, you know, people that are going to pack them today from all the lightning round packs and stuff like that. So that's a very interesting thing. And the winter wild cards we'll have to keep an eye on too. Of course, they kind of just fall in line with a lot of the special cards that we could see moving on this game today. Now, SBC fodder, I know some of you guys might want to talk about that a bit as well. SBC fodder, we just need to not have supply and we need to continue to have SBCs if we have any chance of these fodder cards going up in price. Now, we have a couple SBCs here lingering from the Winter Wild Cards promo. You know, 85s are in the mud. 4.7K, 86s are 9.5K. It's crazy how low this stuff is. And, you know, I think it's really going to take a repeatable icon SBC. It's going to take multiple player SBCs. It's going to take a lot of content and not a lot of packs. EA is going to have to chill with the lighting rounds uh, and still release SBCs to make this fodder go up in price. You have a couple weeks until team of the year. There's probably going to be a spot from now until team of the year where fodder does go up again. I just don't know how high that it goes. I really don't know how much that it goes. It's all in EA's hands. It's all in the hands of EA with the content that they put out. So, you know, some of these fodder cards might get low again today. Like if you see 88s, like at 17K on bid or something like that, that's kind of ridiculous, right? Because even if they go back to 21 or 22K later on this next week, there could be some fodder investing that you could do today if you wanted to um, on, you know, maybe the mid to high tier. I do think they're going to release another icon upgrade SBC probably later on this weekend or early next week. Um, I think they're going to take that opportunity to drop another SBC of that variety on this market pretty soon. But yeah, boys, again, today, there will be some cool cards on the market. I know it sounds like I'm really downplaying this headliners promo, and some of you guys might be excited for any of the cards that are leaked. I hope we get a good SBC. I hope we get a good objective. And uh, I hope that maybe some of the leaks are wrong and we have a really nice promo team coming out today. And I hope they do something different with some of these upgrades. But as it seems right now, it's gonna be an interesting Friday on this game. So we're gonna be following it all. 
link down below in the description to the Twitch stream. We will be live a couple hours before the content drop and a couple hours after during that time frame, watching the market, making moves, and just reacting to the content on this game. So if you want to join in, if you're on the game at the same time, that should be a very fun time. Again, that link is down below in the description. I'm going to get out on some of these icons that I have before then. I got a, I got a couple of Hugo Sanchez down close to a mill, um, and I actually tried him out. This dude is just, I don't know, he's all pace, all finishing, and that's it. He was decent, uh, but he wasn't that great. So I'm trying to just collect like, Literally, this card is like 10k profit at, at the moment, so not a lot of profit on that item. But I'm just trying to kind of break even, and because I think his price might go a little bit lower into today, so I'm just being careful with those. But those are my thoughts on the promo today, boys. That's my thought on how headliners and how this game could react today. It's kind of all in EA's hands, balls in their court, but just kind of how the last week has been slow like the last couple days, it might be a slower Friday on this game. So let me know what you think down below in the comments. If you did enjoy this video, smash the thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you are new. It has been Nate Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.